start. Okay, let us start now. All right, so shalom, shalom. This is a great and special day as we're going to witness a bar mitzvah. Shalom, shalom. A bar mitzvah is a celebration of a boy's 13th birthday when, according to Jewish tradition, he attains his legal and religious maturity. This tradition, which dates for over 2,000 years, says that upon reaching this age, the boy is obliged to fulfill all the commandments. However, for the believer in Yeshua today, it marks the time when the boy realizes his duties which comprise prayers, the study of the scriptures, fellowship and service. And also to follow the law of the Messiah as found in the epistles written for the body of the Messiah. The usual preparation is about a year, and this is most probably why Yeshua was brought to Jerusalem at the age of 12. We read in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 42, And when he, Jesus, was 12 years old, they went up to Jerusalem according to the custom of the feast. This is when Yeshua, Yeshua, that is, Yeshua began taking responsibility about ministry. And at that time, if you remember at the temple, his parents thought they have lost him. But he was not lost, but he was at the temple, and the Bible says he was sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. When his mother found him, he reminded her that it was about his father's business, his father in heaven and in the business of the ministry. Hijiri and I and his faithful mother Yuko have met a number of times over Zoom. We went over these important elements which are now part of his life, prayer, reading of the scriptures, and service to others. The subject Hijiri will address and which was entirely his touches my heart. 
ひじりがこれから話すテーマは彼が自分で考えましたそれは私に感動を与えました And his love for Israel, my people. Hijiri not only prepared his speech, but he also learned Hebrew prayers. Hijiri was a speech of Kangaeta Dagede and Akte, Hebrew Gono Inorimo, Manavimasta. He put many, many hours in the preparation of this, this, his study and the speech we're about to hear. It is my prayer that the Lord will so greatly bless him and his family and his church and his country, country Japan, who he has many times manifested. A deep love. ヒジリはご家族、教会、そして日本を深く愛しています。主が彼と彼のご家族と彼の通う教会、そして祖国日本を豊かに祝福してくださるように私は祈っています。Let us pray. 祈りましょう。Shema Israel Adonai, Elohim Adonai, Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchut Ole Aolam Ba'ad. Blessed be His name, whose glorious kingdom is coming and is forever and ever. Kike Israel Yo, Warera no Kami, Shu wa Yuiz no Shu de Aru. Shu no Mina ni Shukufuk ga Aru yo ni. Eiko no Miku ni wa Yagate Araware, Itz ma de mo Tsuzuki yo ni. The Lord, we commit to you, Hijiri, as, as he is about to testify the great love he has for you and for all that pertains to you. We have seen his dedication, we have seen his hard work, and the way he always, always uplift your holy name. We pray that you give him wisdom, understanding, knowledge, and rest in his heart. Cover Hijiri with your Ruach HaKodesh of love and strengthen him. Amen. Amen. Can we start from schema or speech? The speech. Uh, first of all, uh, with the schema. Schema first? Uh, yes, the Shema. Amen. 
Shalom, shalom, bonjour, abavide, bon country. First of all, I am deeply grateful for the grace of receiving bar mitzvah in this way. My name is Tijiri. It means holy. I am 13 years old. I am currently a high school student. I like table tennis. I am working hard every day to improve my physical strength. 皆さんこんにちは。まずこのようにバルミツバを受けられる恵みに心から感謝しています。私の名前はティジリで13歳。現在中学校に通っています。卓球が好きで毎日体力づくりに励んでいます。My family is a family of five. My father, my mother, an older brother, Hikaru, and a younger brother, Jan. Hikaru received a bar mitzvah at the best our congregation two years ago. At that time, I was watching him on YouTube. I remember I was impressed by his testimony. 私の家族は父、母、兄の Hikaru. 弟の源の5人家族で兄ひかるは2年前にベテアリエルコングリゲーションでバルミツバを受けました YouTube に映る兄の姿に感動したのを覚えています When I was nine and learned all the grace of Yeshua's death and resurrection and was baptized My parents already believed in Yeshua even before I was born They raised me based on the Bible teachings. Now I read the Bible and pray every morning. I thank God for saving me and guiding me in this way. 私は9歳の時、イエス様の犠牲と復活の恵みを知り、洗礼を受けました。両親は私が生まれる前からイエス様を信じており、聖書の教えに基づいて私を育ててくれました。今は毎朝聖書を読み、祈り生活をしています。このように神様の導きによって救われていることに心から神様に感謝しています。Today, I would like to talk about the prophecies of Isaiah chapter 53. First, let me tell you why I chose this topic. さて、今日私はイザヤ53章の予言についてお話しさせていただきます。はじめに、なぜ私がこのテーマを選んだかお話しします。Every summer, I attended an interdenominational Christian Bible camp in Japan.I had a wonderful time.Use of my age were playing and praising God.It was very encouraging for me. 私は毎年夏になると、教教派のバイブルキャンプに参加していました。同世代の仲間が神様を賛美し、祈る姿に励まされ、素晴らしい時間を過ごしてきました。However, there was one thing that I can't range: that is the word Israel never came out of anybody's mouth in the camp. My parents always taught me to bless and pray for Israel. It has been very important in my family. So every day I pray for blessing for Israel. しかし、私にとって不思議だと感じることが一つありました。それは、そこでの学びや祈りの中に一度もイスラエルという言葉が出てこなかったことです。私は幼い頃から両親にイスラエルを祝福し、イスラエルのために祈ることの重要性を教えてもらい、日々欠かさずイスラエルのために祈りを捧げてきました。I wondered why others don't do that.So at camp, I asked 
our teachers what they thought about Israel. For instance, I referred to Genesis 12, which states the Abraham Covenant, and Psalm 122, which tells us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. However, their explanation was unclear and not convincing to me. なぜイスラエルのために祈らないのか創世記12章や詩篇112編を開きイスラエルの重要性を話しましたしかし納得できる説明はなく曖昧な返答だったのですしかし、as you can see Israel is largely ignored also among the churches in Japan but that doesn't fit to the Bible teaching Israel plays such an important role in the Bible. Isaiah chapter 53 teaches just that. このように日本の多くの教会ではイスラエルを意識しない国やイスラエルを無視した教えが根付いています。この日本の現状に私は違和感を感じてきました。イスラエルは聖書でとても重要な役割を担っています。そこで so today, I want to share with you this great chapter from two perspectives. 今日私はイザヤ53章について2つの視点からお立ち会いたいと思います。Firstly, Isaiah chapter 53 teaches Israel's Final celebration. Israel will nationally believe in Yeshua. This event will trigger the second coming of Yeshua. 一つ目はイザヤ53章は将来イスラエルが使われる時の予言であるということです。イスラエルが国家的にイエス様を拒否したことを悔い改め、イエス様をご再現される結果となる重要なポイントが書かれています。how will Israel defend nationally?では、どのようにイスラエルが国家的に悔い改めるのでしょうか? Let's read Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53章6節をお読みします。私たちは羊の群れ、道を誤り、それぞれの方角に向かっていった。その私たちの罪をすべて主は彼に負わせられた。It says the iniquity of us all, but who iniquity? From the context, it is primarily a sin of Israel. And who is him who bears our iniquity? It is the Messiah. Yeshua. At the end of the Great Tribulation, Israel will nationally repent of their sins of rejecting the Messiah Yeshua. Israel's罪です。また彼とはイエス様のことです。大胆な時代の最後にはイスラエル全体がイエス様を拒否した罪の悔い改めを行うことになります。Let's read the Galaya, chapter 12, verse 10. And I will pour on the heart of David and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and supplication. Then they will look on me whom they pierced. Yes, they will mourn for him as one mourns for his only son and grieve for him as one grieves for a first of all。ザカリア書12章10節をお読みします。私はダビデの家とエルサレムの住民に憐れみと祈りの霊を注ぐ。彼らは彼ら自らが知らないたものである私を見つめ、一人子を失ったように嘆き、遺言の死を悲しむ
I also sin and displease God every day. Every day, I check my sins and repent before God. しかし、罪を犯してしまうのはイスラエルだけではなく、私たち違法人もそうです。私も毎日神様を悲しませるような罪を犯してしまい、本当に弱いものだと思います。だから私は犯してしまう罪と向き合って、神様の前で悔い改めることを心がけています。Let's read Romans chapter 3, verse 10. There is none righteous. No, not one. ローマの神体の手紙3章10節をお読みします。次のように書いてある通りです。正しい者はいない。一人もいない。What happens? After Israel's national repentance. では、イスラエル全体が悔い改めた後は何が起こるのでしょうか Let's read Matthew chapter 23, verse 39. For I say to you, you shall see me no more till you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. マタイ23章39節をお読みいたします。言っておくが、お前たちは、主の名によって来られる方に祝福があるようにという時まで今からのち決して私を見ることがない。Yeshua said, Israel will not see him until Israel calls him.It is important that Israel calls Yeshua.Only then the Messiah will return and through his will visit Jerusalem. イエス様はイスラエルがご自分を呼ぶまで私を見ないと言いましたイスラエルがイエス様を呼ぶ時メシアは地上に帰ってきますその時真の平和がエルサレムに訪れます I pray this event will come soon that is also why I pray for Israel every day 私はこの出来事が早く来てほしいと願っていますそのためイスラエルのために毎日お祈りをしています。Secondly to me, Isaiah chapter 53 seems to have deep connection with young people. 二つ目は、イザヤ53章は食材美と関係が深いように私には感じます。Young people is the day when Israel nationally confesses Their sins and offer sacrifice. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Is not this confession and sacrifice so fit to young people, confession and sacrifice? I believe that this event will happen when Israel believes Yeshua's sacrificial death at the end of the great tribulation. 食材日とはイスラエルが国家として罪を告白し生贄を捧げる日です私たちの罪を彼に負わせたという告白と犠牲は食材日を表しているのではないでしょうかそしてこれは大観覧時代にイスラエルがメシ,ナメシアの犠牲を信じる時を表していると私は信じています Let's read Isaiah chapter 53 verse 10 Yet it is pleased the Lord to bless him he has put into grief when you make his soul an offering for sin. He shall see his peace, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Isaiah 53 verse 10 says, I will be in the sea of 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 the sea. 彼は子孫が末永く続くのを見る。主の望まれることは彼の手によって成し遂げられる。Because Yeshua made himself an offering for our sins, our sins will be completely forgiven, and God gives us eternal life in him. We Gentiles need to play the Israel both personally and nationally. 
you recognize this amazing place? <笑>神様が成し遂げてくださったイエス様の犠牲によって私たちの罪は完全に許され将来永遠の命が与えられますこの素晴らしい恵みに気づきイスラエルが個人的にまた国家的に悔い改めることを私たち法人信者は祈る必要があります Let's read Psalm 122, verse 6. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper to love you. 詩編122編6節をお読みします。エルサレムの平和を求めよう。あなたを愛する人々に平安があるように。All Gentiles should pray for Israel. I always pray for Israel's salvation. As I said earlier, many Gentiles are indifferent to the relationship between Israel and Yeshua's second coming. So I sincerely hope that many Gentiles will bless Israel and pray for their salvation. はじめにお話ししたように、多くの法人信者はイスラエルとイエス様のご再臨の関係について無関心です。だから、私が心から願っているのは、イスラエルの救いのために、多くの法人信者がイスラエルのために祈り、祝福することです。I also pray that many Japanese will know Yeshua and receive salvation. I go to high school. But the only one friend of mine is believer in Yeshua. God gave me an opportunity to share the gospel with him, but all other friends do not know Yeshua. They live a life that ignores the existence of God. Statistics show s more than 99% Japanese are non believers in Yeshua. As a Gentile believer, my lifetime decision is to pray for the salvation of both Israel and Gentiles. そして日本人がイエス様を知り、救われることです。私は中学校に通っていますが、イエス様を信じている友人は私が直接救いを伝えた一人だけです。その他の友人は皆、聖書のことを知らず、神様の存在を無視した生活を送っています。統計によると、日本人の 99% 以上はイエス様の救いに預かっていません。日本人の信者として、イスラエルと日本人双方の救いのために祈る,祈る生活をしようと私は決心しています。Finally, let's sing 2nd Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15. And he doesn't follow that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. 最後に、第二コリント五章十五節をお読みいたします。その一人の方は、すべての人のために死んでくださった。その目的は、生きている人たちが、もはや自分自身のために生きるのではなく、自分たちのために死んで復活してくださった方のために生きることなのです。My goal is to live for Yeshua who died for my sins and rose again. 私はこの聖書に書いてある通り私の罪のために死に復活してくださったイエス様のために生きることを目標として歩んでいます。Amen. I really wanted to meet you. And have a fellowship with you face to face. I hope to someday visit Canada and strengthen our bond. I will be praying for blessed to be upon all our brothers and sisters of the best Ariel congregation and to all Israel. Thank you for listening. Merci beaucoup. Congratulations. Um, so, I, you know, I, I want to, to thank you for this 
great testimony that comes from your heart. You know, it's a testimony of love and dedication. Yes, and you know what? You demonstrated also your love for the word which you use, you know, and, and you blessed us with the scriptures. You know, following the, the tradition uh, of the Bar Mitzvah, it is at this moment, Hijiri, that you become a man. That, that is one who is now responsible, a responsible being, and also one who is a partner with the Holy Spirit. You're a partner with the Holy Spirit in blessing your family, in blessing your church, and in blessing all your neighborhood. And again, this is done especially through prayers, through intercession, and by always feeding your soul with the Word of God. We remember the word of Yeshua when he said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. It is then, you know, incumbent to us all to follow the eternal path, just like Jeremiah said, in order to stay fit, always to serve and to bless. Hijiri, I, I know you, you spend a lot of time, and I have a verse for you in Hebrews chapter 6, 16, which says, For God is not unjust, so as to forget your work and the love which you have shown toward his name, and having ministered and still ministered to the believers. ヘブル6章10節神は不義な方ではないのであなた方の働きやあなた方が聖なる者たちに以前も今も使えることによって神の名のために示したあの愛を忘れになるようなことはありません And so because you have put the time for this speech we can all expect by the promise of God, great blessings in your lives. Hijiri, be always close to his word in prayer and in supplication, and always, always in love and humility. It is now that we will move into the blessing of the bread and the blessing of the wine. Go ahead.
祈りの木の創造主よあなたを褒めたたえます。バルアタアズナイエロヘイヌメルハオザンボレイスリハガフェン。The bread.、Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Beautiful. This is beautiful. I will now、uh, close in prayer and I want to tell you, Hijiri, we are waiting for the day you would come to Canada. To see us and to spend time with us. <laughs> Let us pray. We, yeah, we give you thanks for the wondrous privilege of seeing our son, Hijeri, grow in love for you. 主よ私たちの子、ひじりが、神と、御言葉と、見た目への愛によって成長している。これを見ることができて、感謝いたします。And also, he grew in love for your word and also for your people, God. 彼は、御言葉と、そして、あなたの民を愛しています。We thank you for the health. We thank you for the strength you have given him for the mind and spirit with which you endowed him. For all these precious gifts, we thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Heavenly Father, watch over Hijiri on, he, on this special day and every day.、Mm-hmm. Grant him a growing understanding of the true significance of this occasion and a deepening loyalty to everything which it represents. 今日という日の重要性をさらに悟りここに確認された責務にいつも忠実でありますよ And finally, may the teachings found in the word of God in your word guide him through his life and may he live a life worthy of your blessings 神の言葉が彼を導き祝福にふさわしい歩みをすることができますように Yeshem, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Amen and Amen. Meshia, Yeshua, no nade, inorimas. Amen. 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 Very good. 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 To see a young boy or a young man, I should say. <laughs> who will need to stand up to a strong world out there. Because you've made a commitment now to the Lord. And I, and I know that when we make a commitment to the Lord, things can get a little bit difficult. But I am sure that the Lord is going to bless you. Beyond your own strength, that you're going to be a great testimony to your friends at school and to your family. 
しかし主に従うなら主は守ってくださるそして周りの人々に祝福を届け証しをするようになると私は信じます